is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a brand new aew action figure playset review on the aew unrivaled commentary playset pack. That's a lot. But this thing is ringside exclusive, I do believe. I do believe it's ringside exclusive. If it's not ringside exclusive, you can pick this thing up at ringside collectibles using promo code MDTOYS, of course. Wrestlingfigures.com Definitely go over there and check that out. But I'm enjoying this pack already, man. It's massive. This packaging is absolutely massive. Here's the Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes, which should be shipping. I said yesterday that it should be in your hands by the end of July. It's actually shipping, but look how big this box is, man. That's flat on the ground, and it still has like four inches or three inches left there. It's massive, man. It is a big AF box here, so this commentary set's massive. I think that this is going to be awesome. You guys know that AEW and Jazzwares usually kill it when it comes to these play sets, so I'm very excited for this one. Can't wait to get into it with you and, of course, break down all the action, see what we got over here, but this figure set does look amazing. But as you guys can see here, you do get the AEW commentator set there on Rival Collection, 10 pieces, and I want to be very careful here because this box is so damn massive, it is going to knock over my thing, but there's nothing here except for on the side. It does say commentary pack down here. And then spinning around on the back, you do get Excalibur, Jim Ross, and Tony Schiavone with the Rampage logo back there. All Elite, Commentary Pack, all of that, and an AEW logo at the top, which you can barely see. And then on the other side, it just says Commentary Pack again. But spinning it back around, man, let's go ahead and unbox all the things out of here. And we're going to break this set down, get into some comparisons, see all the playability you get out of this thing. And of course, break the entire set down and take a look at what you get with this accessory, Unrivaled AEW Commentary Pack. All right, man, so here's the AEW commentary set out of the packaging, and I gotta be honest with you, man. This was a difficult process to get together, and not because it's, like, overly complicated. It was more of what well, I guess I can get into it in a minute, but once you finally get it all completed and once you have it here displayed, we're gonna look at the commentary team all together. We're gonna sit them in the chairs. We're gonna look at all the different stuff, of course. This is a very badass set. I love this background right here, and I'm pretty sure you could get it, like, custom-made to where, like, I could probably have, like, a, a MDT one made. I imagine a background has got like zebra print all over with like MDT logos, interviews, commentary, all that different jazz can definitely be completed. I am afraid that the plastic may be a bit too cheap and I'll get into that. I mean, this set was $24.99. When you look at this for $24.99, I feel like that is a steal. When you look at all the stuff you get right here, I think $24.99 is a really good price. Use code MDTOYS, take a couple bucks off there. This is a great set. I'm, I'm really enjoying this set. However, it is not perfect and we're going to get into those things, of course. And I'm going to have to get you guys in on all the stuff that you're gonna have to deal with when you deal with this set but overall the sculpts are amazing i'm really liking what you can do here i'm worried about the playability which is gonna go into you know the way it was made and stuff like that we're gonna break all that down but this is badass man i think this is really excellent so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down every accessory first and then we'll get into the playability and things you can do with it so starting things off with the main component the commentary table itself big aew logo here very big table i'd say it's very big like here is the elite 103 star Stardust figure, like looking looking at it laying on the table there. I think that's pretty good size. You can lay a guy on there. You probably get a couple guys on there if you lay them horizontally, but our JR figure right up next to the table comes up about to his waist or close to it. And here's him standing in front. I know his head's cut off there. You, you get what I'm saying. There he is. Look at him. That's pretty clean. So that's pretty good there. I like that. I enjoy all those different things going on, but I think it scales well with AEW figures is what I'm trying to say. You know one thing I actually thought about today, man? I want a Tony Khan figure. What's the day? I want a Tony Khan supreme or a tony khan unrivaled figure like in a suit like i say supreme because you could have a like two different suit jackets with pants or two different jackets and pants and like different the screaming head sculpt smiling head sculpt the talking head sculpt aew microphone maybe a little stand for you know like promos and stuff like this i don't know i'm just spitball in there but we get vince mcmahon figures and stuff why can't we get a tony khan nonetheless here's the table here and i will assemble it even though it's gonna put me in a terrible mood to do so again because this thing is uh yeah. So it's pretty simple by design. Not a lot going on. Your front piece is the AEW piece right here. It's got some pegs on the top here, but this is your regular front of the desk right here. You get two sidewall panels right here, and then the top pegs plug into the breakaway top of the table here, which is just broken in half there, and then it's got some notepads sculpted on here, which is kind of cool. You know, you got a pen and like a pad, and you know, you can the commentators can make notes and check their notes. I really wish these had just been loose and a flat table, because it looks 
looks kind of odd when it's just sitting there, but I guess for photography, still photography, stuff like that, it'll work. It's just something, you know, I thought about, so I just wanted to mention it. The table also has these divots in it for the monitors, but the way that I put it together and the simplest way to put it together is to push the table pieces together that don't snap together. They're just kind of sitting together, which I think is one of the big issues with the way it's made, but stick those together, then take your uh, side pieces here. There are holes for it. You know, you just plug it in right there. And again, they don't really snap in there. They just kind of sit in there. And I think that is uh, a, a, like one of the bigger issues I find with this table, which we'll get into. But you slide that piece in there, slide the other side on there. And then the way I find it to be the simplest is to put this bad boy on upside down. That way you can hold both sides so the walls don't fall out. And then line up your middle two. And then the, the other two usually line up here pretty well. And then these are popping off again. Holy shish. You can see where the headaches come from, bro. So you shove that together, holding it there, and then the best thing to do is to slowly hold it together and then flip it back over, just like so, being very, very easy with it, and you can finally get it over just like that. Now, I forgot to mention, and I forgot to put them on like a dumb A, but if we slowly spin it around here, underneath here, there are some tabs, and on those tabs, which is, this is genius right here, they come with these little hooks, and these hooks hold the headphones that come with the commentary set to go with your commentary team that we've gotten, the Ringside Exclusive commentary team, Jim Ross, Excalibur, Tony Schiavone, but I'm definitely gluing these in place because they pop out way too damn easy, but you shove those hooks in there, and again, I'm being very gentle because they pop out so damn easy, man. You wouldn't believe how easy they pop out. If anybody has this already, I know you've already went through it. There's no way you haven't. I'm absolutely gluing those in place. All right, we got that up, so you guys can see the hooks underneath there. I'm gonna spin it back around here, and then we'll dive into the next accessories that come with this set. Now, your next accessories are gonna be three AEW monitors which look very badass. And they have action shots from AEW television. You guys can see Luchasaurus choke slamming Ray Phoenix. I think that's when he broke his arm, isn't it? Or his shoulder broke or his collarbone broke or something like there. Puts him to the table. But this monitor is a very nice sculpt. You guys can see like the, it's got the speakers in the back. It's got these little folds. It's got the AEW logos on there. Could easily be customized. This entire set could be customized. But I'm thinking I might need a breakaway set and a set that is completely glued together so that it doesn't fall apart as easy as as it does but but these monitors are very nice and they're clean and they have little legs on there and they're a good size too like these are damn big but you guys can see here there are tabs on the top of the table and all you do is just you just stick the monitor in those tabs right there so it does come with three different monitors that are the same scope but they do have different images so you have AEW champion Kenny Omega there with Don Callis and Aubrey Edwards and then you have Powerhouse Hobbs with Orange Cassidy and it's pretty cool you know I think it's cool you can put green screens in there like put a little piece of like stock card like green stock card in there or construction paper or something like that or you know you can mess around with that you can have fun with it you can put your own logos on there you can make them black reflective screens maybe which I think is probably the best thing to do but you know you could sit them there and sit them there and that completes kind of your tabletop now you also get three headphone accessories for your commentary team now one thing that is going to be interesting is obviously like this is not going over I'm pretty sure he has a hat made for the headset to go up in there but uh, we're going to remove this this, and I'm going to keep the glasses on there. I don't know if this is going to work. Speaking of which, the day we're reviewing this is the day of Forbidden Door. And good golly, bro, there's no way this is going to work. There's no shot in heaven. There's no chance in hell, pun intended, that we're going to be able to get these glasses on, get this headset on, and then get that cowboy hat on. And if we do, it's going to be a damn miracle. And it's going to take a lot of effort, and it's going to take a great deal of time to, like, get it on there perfectly. But, the, I mean, the headset that seems to fit his head okay. It doesn't, like, conform to it or anything. And then, uh, just like that, it falls off. Jesus Christ. Let's try Tony Schiavone because he doesn't wear a goddamn cowboy hat. So here's Schiavone. You can put the headset on here. And I mean, it's not flush, but I guess it gets the job done. Like, I, like it's not horrific, right? It's not horrific. And I don't even have a loose Excalibur. I have one men on card and I actually ordered one the other day so that I could open it. Uh, open it. But it didn't arrive on time, so now I'm gonna have 
to open my mint on card one and just hope that the one coming in is not beaten to shit. So I'll have to see about that. But there's the headset fitting on the Tony Schiavone. That I guess gets, you know, it gets the job done. You do get three of these though. So you do get three different headsets. And I guess if you don't like the way they look on the figure, you can just lay them on the desk or put them on the hooks underneath that are going to fall off possibly. But let's get Excalibur out of his packaging and then we'll throw him up there as well. It's going to pain me to open it, but I got to do it. I got to get the job done here. And if you guys were wondering, here is Taz and uh, there's Taz right there. And Taz, uh, you know, he's yelling on commentary. I, I do not really care for Taz on commentary in this day and age in 2023. Much prefer him back in his Smackdown with Cole days, but that still looks pretty good. I think it fits the figure pretty nice, but the mic needs to be closer to your mouth, Brad. Now again, I did just unbox this Excalibur, like just a few seconds ago, man. It was minty fresh and I undid it for you guys, so it fits the head sculpt pretty well. I like this figure as well. I just feel like my right arm's like super loose, like holy Christ. You can barely even like lift it and it's gonna go. This one's tighter, but kind of loose too, but I still like the figure. Good sculpts and the, you know, it fits well and now I have all three chairs loose, so that's good. And then the last accessory that you get here, I guess you can call it an accessory. I think it's pretty much part of, I mean, it's just as important as the table, to be honest with you. It's the backdrop here, and this thing's big as hell, man. Like, you could easily set up, like, a media scrub or an interview area, even if you you didn't want the commentary. How, how you could set up three tables with, like, mics, you know, at each one, or put a damn, that podium we got with the Bruno San Martino, or put this backstage and have your guys in front of it. Here's, like, a Seth Rollins custom in the works. Just put this guy front. Look how big this shish is, man. It's massive. So, I like this piece a lot. You do get this, like, fabric. It's not stretchy like I thought. It kind of feels like a tablecloth a little bit. You got this, like, tablecloth AEW background, and then you do have, uh, there's actually this piece that runs along the top that snaps together, because if you don't put this on, it will fall in on itself, I guess, just from the weight and force. So, you do need to put that, that little pole at the top that clips on well, and then you have the two standees there that this, this fits perfectly, man. I think this is an awesome piece. Easily assembled. When you unbox it, this comes taped to the like yellow backing or the gold backing inside the packaging. You snap it to the side, you snap it together, and you put it up there and it gets the job done, man. I enjoyed this background piece. And again, if you remove this, you can slide them off and put your own background piece in there. So that is definitely something I will be looking into. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. If, if I can't put my logos on there, I could at least get like a zebra print background for sure. So all in all, man, they make so many damn accessories for all this stuff. You got to have a whole basement just to like display all of it and like get creative use out of it. What a blessing. All these companies, we are completely spoiled with all of these damn amazing cool things that we get. So think about that, you know? Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these chairs. Now if, you, if you've collected, I think that this is something they could have added in there. I think they could have added in there three spinny chairs or at least one spinny chair or even two spinny chairs. You know, just your standard office chair. If you guys watched my Tony Schiavone and JR reviews, I want to say I reviewed both of those. I know I reviewed the Jim Ross. I said that these chairs were too small. They're definitely way too small, but you don't get these. So if you don't have those three figures or you don't have three of the office chairs from Mattel, which we did compare in that video, and they are much bigger, man. Look at these Mattel chairs up next to these Jazzware chairs. I like the Mattel ones much better, but I am going to see if they do hold up here. But if you have not collected all three of the commentators from Ringside Collectibles, they are Ringside exclusive. You either got to get it on the aftermarket or over there. Use code MDTOYS if you get it from Ringside, which is where I suggest you get it. I'm going to see if you can indeed sit all your commentators in their respective chairs and put the table in front of them without them looking way too short. I do want to see this. So there is Tony Schiavone getting him in the right spot. Oh my god. The chair's a little wobbly. Tony, be careful over there. You don't want to fall out of your damn seat. Here's Jim Ross. Now, one thing that I was trying to find is I was trying to find my Macho Man commentator set because I know, you guys remember, with our crowdfunder, they gave him, they gave Macho the headset inside the hat, and you may be able to make that work, but for the sake of this, I'm going to not put the headphones on there. I'm just going to put JR in his simple hat here. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to put him in his chair. I'm going to put him in the middle here. But I feel like the common look is, JR in the middle with Excalibur and Tony Schiavone to his sides. So let's just see how this goes. You stick him right there. Put him in the middle. I mean, at least he sits up pretty high. Even if it is a little bit awkward there, I think it gets the job done so far. And last but not least, we do have Excalibur who does have his head set on there. And this is a very poseable figure. Jazzwares makes some of the best poseable figures, man. It's just sometimes they be super loose like John Moxley or Penta and stuff like that. But they make some damn good looking figures and they make some really fun stuff. So 
So there is all three commentators. Now, can we slide this table in front of them and complete our look here? I guess you gotta bring these guys closer together, scooting those guys in, and then sliding this forward. And I think that's mission complete. Tony looks like he's a bit short over there, but I think this looks damn cool, man. Look at that, you zoom in there, look at that right there. Hola, right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nada AEW Dynamite. We got the day gun from Oklahoma. And Sting, Sting is in the house. That was a great finishing move by Wolfpack Sting. I cannot for the life of me do a, a good Excalibur commentator voice, man. I, years and years in the business, man. He has a, just a golden voice, to be honest. And now that we've taken a closer look at this, which I think is the money shot, by the way. This is the money shot right here. This is what the people want. Now, we gotta put figures on here and see if you can put them through the damn thing. And I, my worry is, are they gonna be able to stand on it without it falling apart? That's what I'm worried about. But we're definitely gonna slam somebody's A on this thing. All right, man, so... So to destroy this thing, we're gonna absolutely move all this stuff. We're gonna move these guys out of the way, and we're just gonna straight up do a spot. Just because, you know, they would clear this off. i can tell you right now, if you if you were to, like, wipe all that off, they'd ob they'd absolutely, like, the, the table will collapse. There's no doubt about that. But uh, let's move these guys. We're gonna get them strolling out of here. I went ahead and got a photo of all three of them. That way I wouldn't have to come back to it, because this thing's about to absolutely explode. I want to back this up a little bit because I want to get, you know, the full shot in there and we'll see exactly how this thing's going to come apart when you uh, when you slam a guy on it. So, what's the best thing to do? Probably a one-winged angel, you know. So, the first test I want to do is just can you have a guy standing on this thing without it breaking? I'm really worried about this, but uh, let's see. Alright, I want to make sure everything's flat here. I just have a regular unmatched Series 1 Kenny with the unrivaled Series 4 head sculpt on there. We're just going to sit this guy on here and see if it will stay. It will, but, you know, you want to be careful with it. And then I have a Kip Sabian unrivaled figure here. I'm just going to stand him on here. I just grabbed a random figure, so... Oh, God. Hold up. Let's get his feet flat. All right, so two guys can't stand on there. That's good. I mean, if you're, like, posing them, though, and you're trying to get them in a specific pose, bro, it's going to be a nightmare. I can already see it. You're going to be sitting there trying to tediously pose it and get it all nice and stuff, and they're going to fall, and they're going to break the table, and you're going to want to break your own foot off in your own A, and it's going to be terrible. However, we can load this son of a bitch up, break his torso in half, and uh, put him put him through a one-winged angel right here, so... Oh, my God, Brad, Kenny Omega's loading up Kip Sabian on the announced table, and he's breaking him down with a one-winged angel! Angel! And he's breaking him down with a one-winged angel! Wow, it didn't actually break in half. I mean, the table exploded, but it didn't, like, give me that good break right there. I'm gonna rebuild it, and then I'm gonna have Wardlow powerbomb somebody's A through there. I think that's what I'm gonna do next. Oh, don't look now, Brad! Wardlow's got MJ uploaded up for a powerbomb through the table! Powerbomb to the table. Damn, it still isn't breaking on top, but maybe it's just the way that it is. Huh. All right, I got one last spot, and then uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. Oh, my God, Brad, look out below. Jeff Hardy coming up the ladder on a Kip Sabian. And he's looking for the Swanton Bomb. And he's looking for the Jesus, it looked like he ricocheted. One time. Anyways, man, that is pretty much your commentary pack for the AEW set. I had a lot of fun with it. You know, I, I think it is a little bit flimsy at times, but I think at the end of the day, you're going to get some enjoyment out of it. I would say that it is a little bit flimsy. If you can get over the headaches that you're going to face putting it together over and over, if that's what you want to do, I don't know how well you're going to be able to pose on top of it without collapsing the table, but it is a sick-ass set. For figure photography, for displays, for your arenas, this gets the job done, and this is a great set. I've really enjoyed it, pairing it with other figures that we've already seen, man. If you guys want this set, Go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Outside of the flimsiness and the uh, difficulty, like, getting it to stay together without, you know, like, you know, just tap, barely tapping it and it falling over and coming apart and all that stuff, I really enjoy this set and I think you guys are going to like it as well. But before we get out of here, man, a huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in joining the Patreon, click the link in the description below. I had a lot of fun with this review and I think you guys are going to enjoy this set as well. Go grab it. 
Use code MDTOYS at Ringside Collectibles. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you in the next video. We'll never back down. We will not relent.